Welcome back after buzzers. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Shaws of Sunset. Episode, what is it? Episode six, six. season seven. So sorry about that. Uh, emeralds aren't forever. In tonight's episode, we celebrate uh, Persian New Year's. Mike is having some love issues. Reza is finally confessing to some things that he invested in. We're also getting a lot of closure. And of course, we cannot forget what? Persian no, New Year's, no ruse. Stay tuned. You're tuned in to AfterBuzz TV, the ESPN of TV talk. Now, let the buzz begin. Oh, this is different. I'm you like, gotta shake wait. your hips, remember? That's what Destiny talked about, right? Oh, yeah. What did she call it? Oh, God. You guys are going to oh, have to excuse gosh. me because yeah. I, I forget what she called it, but she... She talked about how uh, Persian women love to like shake their hips and shake their waist. Who and, doesn't? It, right. You know, I feel like I feel like I can totally relate to some of this Persian culture being Hispanic. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's like kind of the same thing. They, they have a they, lot of flavor. Yes. Like we do. Mm -hmm. Yes. They're not afraid to be women and and, <laughs> and, and embrace their sexuality, mm -hmm. but not in a like over aggressive way. Anyways, I am your host, Crystal McLaughlin, and I am here with my beautiful host. Hey guys, I'm Mike the Carrillo, and I'm so excited. It's the two of us tonight. I know, Danya and, N and Nicole. Nicole could not make it this evening, so um, they will be back next week, yes. and uh, we look forward to having them back on the panel. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot going on tonight, so we're gonna get started. Uh, what did you think overall about this segment? Oh my God! It was nice um, to see the amount of celebration and yeah. family, friendship, unity for Persian New Year. It's definitely something new to me. I mean, I, I'm half Persian, but I don't have. I've never, I guess, associated myself with that side of the family. It's always been my Salvadorian side, which is my mom's side. So I. And that's who this, were you were raised with, right? right that's yeah. who I was raised with. So seeing this as someone like Nima was witnessing everything for the first time um, and experiencing all these emotions and feelings, I was feeling it the same way too. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty endearing. Yeah, I think I felt like I was seeing a different side of this this crew right mm -hmm. like it just it was a lot warmer and you felt connected with them because i feel like every other season don't get me wrong i loved watching them but it was all about partying right so now i feel like they're getting into being connected to their culture and and making it more family oriented right right yeah i, I felt like a really good connection to that i felt warm inside you felt that warm yeah. yeah it's like they they opened up their doors to their home yes you know like seeing mike and and his childhood home and them having their celebration same thing with Gigi and the fact that she was doing the celebration and, and her Reza. parents, yeah, mm -hmm. and Reza and yeah. having uh, Vita and all her little knickknacks. I mean, that <laughs> I was can't just. Wait to get into we all, that. I feel like we all have a family member oh, that does that. A hundred percent. Yeah, a hundred percent. Speaking of homes, poor Reza. Yeah. Talk about he. Well, the episode doesn't start with Reza's home being uh, robbed, but I'm gonna start there because I felt like it was such an important moment because I think that. They, no ruse, which I am probably make, saying wrong, <laughs> no ruse, um, which is the Persian New Year, is all about like starting all over, right? Mm -hmm. So you, you jump over this fire pit and you're supposed to get rid of the bad juju right. and start new for the year. So I felt like he kept having like all these really bad things happening to him. Mm -hmm. And the fact that his, um, his home that he's like building, you know, yeah. was robbed with all the stuff that he had in it from his place in um, Palm Springs was really upsetting. And and I felt, I, almost, I I know this sounds really weird, but I really felt like it was me being robbed oh. in that moment. It's because the way that he was describing the yes. items that he lost. like yes. he, But then at the same time, I'm thinking like, why would you move your stuff so quickly when the house isn't even done? Like your most prized possessions. Yeah. Like that's like, I don't know, I not guess. Too, not too bright. And you think, Russ is usually like on point, but. Right. He needs help too. I mean, yeah. you know, I don't know. But I, I think just he's think overwhelmed. Definitely. Right? He's got a lot on his mind. He seems very overwhelmed, mm -hmm. yeah. right? So maybe that's why. I don't know. I don't know. It made me really sad. And I, I felt, I felt, um, you know, I felt for him. And, and, you know, I don't think, not saying that Adam doesn't understand like the loss of all that stuff because that stuff is his as well. But mm -hmm. Reza works really hard for not saying that <laughs> Adam doesn't. But like Reza is 
you know, the breadwinner. And so he pays for most of this stuff. And all I could think about was like all his hard earned money being taken, right? I mean, stolen, yeah. like. But I these types know. of things happen. I mean, there's me certain too. things you can't control. And yeah. every time something like this either happens to me when they try and break into my car or something yeah, i'm I've like had my car broken into too. see it yeah sucks. it's like it's it sucks you have that those emotions but yeah. then you're like okay at least i'm okay yeah at 100%. least nothing happened to me nothing happened to one of my family members right. you know like it can always be worse that's how i like to think about worse. things no yeah. no 100 i got into car accident this week and it, <gasps> yeah <laughs> oh yeah it could have been worse no uh yeah and there's more stuff to that but anyways <laughs> We'll chat after. We'll chat after. We'll talk, yeah. But um, anyways, um, uh, I believe we have something to tell our beautiful fans. We do. Hey, After Buzzers, our network produces after shows for nearly all of your favorite TV shows. From dramas, reality TV, sci-fi, and more, there is really no other network that works harder to serve television fans as us too. That's right. Don't you forget <laughs> But it. we need your help. We're asking that you please subscribe to one or more of our YouTube channels. By subscribing to our channel, YouTube will suggest content that's tailor-made for you and you will help AfterBuzz continue to grow. And if you're worried about those pesky notifications, don't be because they are optional. So hit that subscribe button now for this channel and check out other AfterBuzz YouTube channels as well. Let us know how we did in the comments and we'll thank you on air. We'll do it, right? That's Next right. week? Mm -hmm. That's right, girl. For now, thanks so much for being the best fans and helping us be the ESPN of TV talk. Yes, thank you guys so much. It's mm -hmm. like a relationship, you know, yeah. with our fans. And speaking of relationships. We're in a committed relationship. Yes, mm -hmm. absolutely. Speaking of relationships, we had a lot of stuff going on in this episode about relationships, right? Yeah. So we we start off with MJ going to therapy with Tommy. And, and it seems that, like, it, it opened up um, sort of, like, this thing that was sort of hanging over Tommy. I felt like it was really hanging over him how he felt about MJ and, and her behavior towards him. He, he doesn't feel appreciated and he feels like she's not really um, a talker but a yeller. And she actually feels the same way about him, which is kind of funny, right? Yeah. And, and that she's a lot like Vita. What did you think about that, that they went to, to therapy? I was I was kind of surprised they went you you were i was i thought you know what based on what we were talking about last week i'm like this was needed i'm so glad that they did it before 100%. they got married i knew it was needed but i didn't think tommy would part participate you by didn't? oh no. no i think deep down tommy knows he's that softy. he's got his yeah i think he deep down he knows he's got his own issues yeah. because she even mentioned it she's like yeah. he carries a burden and he carries so much yeah. in him because of course his his, I guess mom. his mom passed yeah, away mom and, and passed like other I things. Can't, I can't imagine. So it's like, I'm glad that they did it. And the fact that they were so understanding of one, of each other. Right. Because Tommy was raising his voice and that can easily get es That can easily get escalated. But he's a New Yorker too. He talks like that and he's like really, really loud. Oh, sorry guys. <laughs> if you're listening, my bad. Um, uh, you know, on ear earphones, I'm sure that was loud. My bad. But anyways, he talks really loud naturally as a as a just an everyday human yeah. being and then you got you know throwing in the mix him being upset about something but mj and has such a strong yes. personality too and she oh can level gosh. up to okay. his level right. any day right i mean <laughs> i love watching the two can, yeah look at her and Gigi when I they get into to, it okay let me just say mm -hmm. and this is kind of going off subject but i can't wait for those two to have a child Oh, like I thought you were gonna kid say like, gonna, what? What, what did you I don't know. My head is going so uh -huh, girl. <laughs> I think they're gonna have the cutest kid and they're just gonna love each other that much more oh, when yeah. they have that child. I'm not saying that they don't love each other now, but yeah. like they're really gonna have a love and appreciation for I one another. I love the fact that he said to the grave. To the grave. To the grave. Till they throw dirt girl. on us. Like that to me, I was like, you need oh to my find God. one of those, right? I know. Where Ride or die. One Ride or die. Yeah, look, <laughs> talking about searching out, we have our live chat up. So if you guys wanna chime in, yes. have any comments or questions, like tune in. I have one of my lovely friends, Vanessa. Uribe. Hello, Vanessa. Hey, Nessa. She um, commented on the situation. She said, not that he deserves it, but it was karma for keeping such a huge secret from his husband. And with all the money Reza makes, he should have put everything in storage. Yeah. That's true. I mean, that's what we, we're going to talk about later, right? Because yeah. Because that's even what he said about mm -hmm. himself, which is kind of funny that he 
he saw that, yeah. you know, that he's like, it's like they're all growing and, and, and being a little bit more cognizant of like what they're doing in their mm-hmm. life rather than mm-hmm. just like being crazy, drinking, partying and fighting with each other. They're growing up. Yeah. It's so nice. Oh. So late, but so, so nice. <laughs> that's hope. That means we can all grow up to that <laughs> level. Peter Pan, Peter mm-hmm. Pan. Okay. Anyway, so no, uh, then we, I, right. <sighs> Oh my gosh, Southern Charm, my goodness. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so um, Destiny uh, talks about her dad and how she's trying to get over the fact that he left the family and she wants to get closure. Um, that's another relationship um, that we, we need to talk about. I mean, yeah. do you think that the reason why she doesn't have a good um, repertoire when it comes to dating is because of that? I mean, I, I almost feel like when you got daddy issues, <laughs> it's bad, you know? Like, I know I do. Yeah, like... I don't know why I sounded like that for two seconds. I, <laughs> you're feeling it. You're I was feeling, feeling it. it, girl. Yeah. Um, You know what? I think something must have happened for her to realize that she has to take that step yeah because i'm telling you i can so relate to her yeah (laughs) i can relate to her because for me it's like i can't like taking that step and that initiative to reach out to a parental figure to gain closure and someone that you've never spoken to or probably once or twice in the past that's tough that's really hard to do so for you to be emotionally available like I have to commend her for that yeah because for her I feel like she she's really upset and she holds a lot inside so I'm hoping that her having this conversation with her dad helps if if she does she yeah right. so all I could think about you're gonna laugh at this but all I could think about was because I read the book eat pray love oh. and it made me think of Sarah Gilbert and how she wasn't she never went up to her do have you read that book i saw the movie okay, which no. doesn't the count the book yeah is amazing by the I way hear. giving you, you a gotta plug let me borrow Sarah it. Gilbert. oh my mm-hmm. god so good my mom has it but um uh yeah i've read i've actually read a ton of her books she everything she does is really good but she um talks about how she forgives her husband and also mm-hmm. apologizes to him and she's in india mm-hmm. and she goes up she doesn't do it to him personally in his face so the reason why i bring this up is because nima talks about how she should just let it go just like by talking about it right and i understand where he's coming from like i get what she's saying like she doesn't want to let it go unless she's getting to see him face to face and 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 getting an opportunity to talk to him but at the same time like you could it's almost like when you're feeling some kind of way about something you write it down and then you get it out and you're like, oh, I feel better. So that's sort of like what uh, Sarah, uh, yeah, yeah, Sarah does. So uh, I just almost blinked out there. I've been <laughs> up since 5 a.m., so excuse me, people. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I love how she goes up onto the roof and you can look at all of India. And she, she like, sets – I can't remember. It's been a long time since I read the book, but I guess she, like – puts all these like little papers she writes on them and then she puts everything about how she felt and then like burns it or lets it go something like that but she basically gives everything that she felt away and it's it's like her saying yeah, it to her husband but that's different though because she's had a whole experience with her husband and destiny Ooh, hasn't I didn't think of it that yeah way. like destiny hasn't had any experience with her father yeah. she i'm assuming she probably really doesn't know much of him so oh, that's yeah. it's different I yeah, because it i can't is. do that myself yeah so I that's can't. probably why you see that i didn't see yeah. that until you said it. i can't be like okay i'm gonna gain closure and i'm gonna you know take the step of not no it's just it's just totally it's different it's totally different yeah no i totally get it, it now that you're saying it yeah because with that it's more of an experience yeah. you really don't it's how can you figure. give forgiveness towards someone that you don't even know yes that's, that's crazy. That's a hard thing to do. This is so an awesome. If, you know, See, I'm if telling anybody you. knows how to do this, this is just, Shaw's a Sunset. I, it's it's yeah it's, uh, a show that we are learning from. I just feel like she probably <laughs> has to do it head on. Like she's very adamant about it, and she's gonna do it. And she hired a private investigator for it. Which girl, Destiny, DM me. Where is this private investigator? Like I'm down. Oh, <laughs> honestly, just, can I just say? Maybe the reason why we're on the show and that we're watching it, Mm -hmm. maybe it's like full circle. There's like a lot of things that we've learned from it Uh and that we're growing Mm -hmm. as we're like watching every episode and, 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 
just sort of like taking everything in. And I feel like every time we come on here, we have something really spiritual to say, it's you know? so true. Girl, if it's not you, it's me, or it's Nicole, right, or it's Dania. It's <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm really loving that. And I mm-hmm. feel it feels really nice. I, I, I wonder if anybody else is... Is anybody else in the chat if they felt that way? Or Sarah, um, she said it only took seven seasons, and I think she was talking about this whole maturity that yeah, we were talking about yeah, earlier. Yeah, yeah. She's like, it only took seven yeah. seasons. <laughs> oh, wow. I know about time, right? <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So I, I love that, and um, yeah, maybe we, you know, hopefully we'll be able to get Destiny on the show. Maybe she can tell you herself. You know what Girl, I mean? That would Destiny, be we would life. love to Destiny, have you. Destiny, we need on the you show. and your wisdom. Um, we just need you here. I need right, that personality right, next to me. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So um, then we move on to uh, Gigi finding out the value of her ring. But Ooh! what's the, what's funny is like the value is almost like a, a it's a like, house. Yeah. Well, it's here it's a, a down payment, I guess. Yeah. 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 No, but I was gonna say the value of the ring almost. She starts to real. You could tell like she had this moment of like, oh wow, he really loved me. You, did you notice that? Like he, she had like this moment. She kept that ring, girl. I she was gonna she, no, but she was gonna turn it into something different. And then she decided when she heard that it was worth one hundred twenty-five. No, one hundred sixty-five thousand. Boo. I, I saw one hundred twenty-five. No, that was for the uh, baby. Oh, yeah, you're right. Uh huh. So it was Ooh. a five point four carat girl. That was the first thing I wrote down. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it was a five point four carat diamond ring, a beautiful ring, and she was not sure whether or not it was going to be a cubic zirconia or if it was going to be a real diamond. And it ended up being a real diamond. Mm-hmm. And wow, talk about where did he get that money? Right, right. But it, it is at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't matter. But the IRS will care. No. <laughs> No, but honestly, <laughs> what I loved is that she had this moment. I don't know if you saw that, but I saw this moment of her like, wow, he really loved me. You know, and I and I think that because of that, she can That's let, what you got? Totally. I, th- no. What did you get? Let's hear what you got. No, I did not get like, wow, he really loves me. I think I he got- He loved it. me. He loved me. I think it was like a, damn, this guy spent that much money on me? Like, I guess he wasn't She dead had that broke. moment, but right after that, I saw the like, oh, wow. Like this realization of like, oh- he loved me. Like she, she kind of calmed down and like put the ring back on and was like, "Oh, I'm gonna keep it like this." Isn't it kind of weird that she still wears? I don't know. It's like that's what I'm saying. Weird that she that's still why wears I think it. she's. That's the whole but thing. But hey, I mean, if I have a ring and it costs that much, I don't oh, care girl. whether it's an engagement, whatever it is, I'm wearing that ring. No, girl, I'd, I'd sell it and get a down payment on it. <laughs> well, that's good too. Yeah, yeah, but, but yeah. um, yeah, I, I, I. Glad to see that she's trying to move forward. Do you think she's really moving forward? Yes. You think so? I do. Okay. I can tell by the way that she expresses herself yeah. during the little interviews. Yeah. And with this whole Persian New Year, and she's like yeah. letting it all go, burning totally, the papers. Like, totally. All this are like really great steps for her to take. And the fact yeah. that she's doing it, because I mean, it could be so easy for her to be depressed and say, yeah, I'm moving on. I'm going to see how I do. Like I'm, I'm really trying, but this girl's like set. Can She's I like, play no. devil's advocate here? No, uh, no I'm just kidding. What? <laughs> I was gonna do it anyway. Uh, no, uh, no, but I was gonna say, you know how like when you want to lose weight and you like don't really want to go to the gym or diet, but you do it anyways. I feel like that this is what that is. Like she's doing the she's she's taking the process of like like hashing out this whole stuff right like she's doing Mm -hmm. the fire pit thing she's gonna go find the appraisal she's she's uh you know saying that she wants to get rid of him so she's removing the tattoo and she's you know burning the paper or whatever did i say that already i think i did oh my god my mind um (laughs) but i feel like she's not really 100 percent convinced Mm. i don't know she's still wearing that ring that says something you think so oh yes that come on a ring means something. If you're done, you wouldn't be wearing that anymore. She was supposed to turn it into something else, and she didn't. Girl, tell me. You're I don't not know. saying nothing. No, I just, <laughs> I just asked um, 
on our live chat because Vanessa put that's not proper closure. And I said, what do you ladies think is proper closure? Um, cause Sarah said, I saw it as holy shit. I am worth it. And she also added, I thought she was moving forwards, but I saw her in an interview and she is keeping the tattoo. So I guess because she's See? keeping all of these little things. See, what did I say? I'm, I'm, I'm being very Mama hopeful. relationship here. <laughs> I'm being very hopeful for her and I'm hoping that she does get to move on. I and, hope so too. And, no, I really hope so too. But then we don't know the full story really. You know what I mean? And we can't yeah. help who we love. Girl. Who do you love? Who do you love? <laughs> so, um, speaking of love, Mike mm -hmm. and Morgan are having some issues, some love issues, right? Because what? Mm -mm. He didn't want to invite her where? To his family's mama's house. Mama's house yeah, to dinner for she's a meat. lion. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> you don't want to put her in the lion's no. den because my mom's a lion. I'm like, mm. how do you feel about that? If that was you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this girl, I would have been so upset. She's young though. She doesn't know better. She's still wet behind Well, look the at what she was telling last week, the advice I that know. she was giving um, Destiny. Sometimes you just have to put up with a man, like as long as you can just keep him. I guess that's what she was saying. Something yeah. around those lines. No man wants a woman they can walk all over all the time. Sorry. That's just my opinion. I think that if he was really much in love with her, he would, totally he would have her. totally done 100%. it, but he's so scared about what his mom has to say, mm -hmm. and it's like, but he didn't care when he when he brought uh, Jessica along, right? Because he was so in love with her. I think he's just not. Jessica in love. would have not put up with that. No, she wouldn't, and that's what I'm saying. She's, yeah, she's not a beast like Jessica. Jessica would have put her foot down, her heel mm -hmm. down, I should say. Um, you know, and here's the thing though, too, is like. <clears throat> She just doesn't know any, she doesn't know any better. Like she's just sort of sitting back and taking it. And even Reza is like putting Mike on the spot. Yeah. And and even Destiny is like sticking up for her and she's saying she feels sorry for her. And she's she's almost like stirring the pot a little bit, I'll be honest. But you know, for good reasons, right? I think she's just questioning Mike. It's 100%. like, really, Mike, you're gonna you're gonna you're out with this girl, you're bringing her around us, and yet you're not gonna take her to mom. Right. And even so, if he thinks that like I don't know if you bring someone on the show and you're saying all these things about her oh, ultimately your mom is going to see it like yeah. and your mom's going to be like wait a minute why didn't you bring her in and are you that much afraid I don't know it's just it's curious to me and I feel bad for her but in all I do and I don't feel bad for her yeah because at the same time it's like I wouldn't put up with that yeah no I totally wouldn't put up with that either but I get it from Mike's perspective. I wouldn't bring a guy home that I wasn't serious about. I've, I think my mom has met maybe one or two of the but guys. But he says that's her dated. girl. That he introduces her as, as his girlfriend. girlfriend. That doesn't mean anything. There ain't no ring on it, boo. No, but still, <laughs> I just don't think it's. it's, it's I don't spray. think he's serious about her. I don't think so either. No, she's just. She's just somebody he's passing through. She, like, yeah. You know? You can, t she's you can young. straight up tell. I mean, they were talking about her not participating in the cooking and stuff for the new ruse. Oh, they were they were just joking, though, I think. Were they? Mm -hmm. I don't know, because I looked up and they seemed like they were she serious. Was, and she's half Persian. Yeah. And I she always looks like she's on her phone and, like, she's just not – she is way too young. She needs to be going – she needs to be dating someone that's, like, maybe a couple years younger, a couple years older, not – Mike. Mike. I mean, but like in all so honesty, older. if Mike, if I were to see Mike anywhere and he were to be like, let me get to drink something, and I'd be like, okay, like, oh, all right, let's Mike, see where this goes. Mike Maite like, is single. No, no, Alex no, 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 is no. out of the way. No. <laughs> Alex who? No, I'm kidding. Uh, exactly, exactly. Uh, no, but I mean, it's just, you get enticed with Mike's personality, and I, I get yeah, that he's part. Charming. He's, he's charming. charming. He's a good looking guy, but nice teeth. I love his teeth. Right, and yeah. he has his head on his shoulders when it comes to, I guess, persuading women yeah, yeah. but on the other hand I persians just, are good at that especially persian men you would know yeah. i wouldn't yeah i do i do know <laughs> i do know actually i've only dated one but sarah asks how long has mike and morgan been together good that's a very question. good question i in our news section i have something in in regards to to that question i think yeah for our news mm -hmm. yeah yes. save it for later girl so um moving forward we we talk about the Persian New Year and Nowruz, right? So they end up having 
um, a party at uh, Gigi's house. They end up having a party at Reza's house and they end up having a party at Mike's house. And everybody's sort of getting together. They're mixing and mingling with one another. And it's funny because I think the person that stood out the most for me was Nima. Um, Nima didn't have a traditional um, Persian upbringing. And I think he feels like he missed out a lot. And I totally get it because I don't have a very big family. So we didn't have these like huge, you know, gatherings. So I always, I always, um, attached myself to friends who had ginormous families what mm -hmm. and I lived in the Bay Area so it was like mostly Hispanic and um Filipinos right there's uh -huh. a lot of Pacific Islanders there yeah. so I would like go and eat and like get all this love and people would just you know just bring me in like I was one of them and um I really loved that and and so when Nima was talking about that I totally related and and I think that um it's really good for him to experience that because he hasn't had that opportunity. And not only that, but I think that's probably what is gonna make him like Gigi even more because think about this. Gigi has this huge family. She's got this culture right behind her. And, um, you know, they, they do the traditional stuff. And, you know, at the same time, he wants to like please his dad. And it seems like he's got some daddy issues. Yeah. And, um, what, what stood out about you Nehru's know, for you? For me, I think the fire jump was very significant. Yes. I love going to yoga and, and meditating. And so this was just kind of like a nice, fresh start. Yeah. And it's a tradition I would love to have. Right. And it, and you know what? The fact that also Gigi gave the perspective, because I've gone to Doc Weiler Beach, which is where the... Um, where is that at? That is, oh, I'll take, it's by Marina Del Rey. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like Mar Vista area. Mm -hmm. I thought it was, when I saw the pits, I thought it was uh, Long Beach, because I know I've been to Long Beach. And they, they have, have those pits too? I don't know if it's the same no. ones, but they have pits there. Oh, okay. It's been years since I've yeah, been. Yeah, Doc Weiler has all these pits everywhere. It's, wow. I, don't, I don't even know how many, but um, the fact that she was saying how this tradition started with her family and the significance of it, I really thought those, those pits were there just to have fun and start a fire. But, you know, seeing this as a tradition, tradition yeah. it's, it's so nice. It's like something that really caught my eye and I'm like, wow, I'd love to do that. Even if it's not Persian new year, right. like new beginnings, just gather right. friends around and oh, say, Hey, yeah. let's, let's just detox. Okay. <laughs> From the negativity, <laughs> because I know we can relate. And the exes and the people who and just, have caused hurt and pain in our lives. Just everyone, you yeah. know? I, we Everyone goes through some. Everyone always goes through oh, something, you know? Everybody's got issues. And so just to go through that and then have, like, all the food, because, oh, my goodness, this episode had so much food. Oh, my mouth my was, God. was I know, watering. Same. I know you kept on mentioning I'm that, so too. I'm so hungry. Because yeah. I haven't eaten since, what time did I eat today? Yeah, I can't even remember because I'm so tired. <laughs> But, but I'm so happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I don't think I, I ate breakfast and then I, I snacked all day. So I didn't really eat anything. You, yeah. You know what, too, was like eating. Nima. <laughs> or you better eat after. Uh, Nima was still, again, trying a little too hard with yeah. Gigi. And you think so? Yeah. Why? I do. I feel like he's trying way. He. I don't know. He's like, I think he's a great telling... lady again next to his fa her family. Yeah, like, but I don't think he's actually just... physically trying really hard. If you see, you hear him talking about it, but I didn't see him like really I'm overly. Over I feel like he's just <laughs> trying way too oh, hard. I'm kind of rooting for Anima a little bit. You know, I go back and forth. I go back, I go and, back forth. and forth. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel. I feel like. He has a lot of growing up to do. Um, I did love, like, how you said the the fire pit stuff. Uh, it, it, what was it? Mike wanted to get rid of negativity. Mm -hmm. Nemo um, wanted to get rid of, like, past relationships. Destiny um, wanted to not spend so much time on business. Gigi was throwing away her negativity and her marriage license, and she never believed in marriage anyways. I mean, did you find that surprising? I was like, yeah, that sounds about right for you, girl. Yeah. I believe in marriage and all that stuff. Nothing wrong with anybody who doesn't but um you said you don't or you know do? i do oh, okay i do yeah same same yeah uh but yeah anyways uh so can we talk about since we're talking about Nuru's about reza um the ring that or not the ring oh but the, the emerald that he bought for his mother and how adam dropped it and how i'm sorry but since we're speaking about mike yeah. i was so upset that he talked to adam the way he did were you not like disgusted with that? What did he say? He said, um, what do you mean? 
Because when um when uh what's his name Adam dropped the ring and it and it cracked on the end, he's like. It, it's in the box for a reason. Like he was just like snarky. He didn't say that. Reza didn't say that. No, Mike. Oh, Mike. Yeah, Mike yes. said it. Yeah, yeah. Because it's fifteen thousand dollars. Well, I totally get it, but like, he, he felt bad already. You could see it, right? It's like, well, why put salt on a wound? You know, I don't know. I thought he would. I, you, I would have you been looked, pissed off. I know, but yeah. you looked up at me too when Mike said that to Adam. Yeah. I mean, it was kind of rude. You have to admit, like, it had nothing to do with him. Like, it's none of his business. But that's how Mike just. I know all of them are like that, but still, like I was just like, no. If that was me, I, if I was Adam, I wouldn't been like, bitch, shut the hell up. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, did I just oh! say that word? <laughs> Wait, I don't think that's not word, right? Yes, you can say. It. I Is don't it? think. No, you uh, can say it on TV. You can. Yeah. yeah. Uh, right. I yeah. hope so. <laughs> I'm just saying, like. <laughs> oh God. Too late. Too, too late, late, girl. Too late. <laughs> Oh, um, Lord. Oh. He was just so upset. I feel like Reza just had so much going on. And what wasn't helping, too, was the fact that he kept on holding the secret about $500,000 mm-hmm. investing in the shampoo business. Um, mm-hmm. And the secret of the ring or yeah. the emerald. Yeah. Uh, you know. But Reza was really, I don't know. He wasn't as nice in this episode. He was very... I'm telling you, moody. Rude, moody, moody. aggressive. He's stressed out, like we like, said. But then he, he even... When they were, when they went, well, I don't know if we're going to get to this, but like towards the end when they went to go see the specialist, yeah, you know, for, for an egg donor, not egg donor, but a, what do you call it? A surrogate. surrogate. Um, He's like, do you have the money for this? Are yeah. you going to pay for it? But like, for good reason. For good reason. Because he basically, uh, Adam doesn't make enough money, right? So Yeah, but I mean, what? What can he do? So last week, remember, we were saying, like, how we didn't know yeah. if Adam worked. We're like, what does he even do for a living? We don't get to see it. So now we know he works, like, in post-production, yeah, post-production. I guess. He doesn't and, make a lot of money. And, and what and, do you want? Yeah, and he's like, well, he just makes nine, what, you make nine to five. It's like, well, that's in the normal world. That's yeah. what people make yeah. and do. And that's how they live their mm-hmm. lives. And the fact that he but kept on saying, like it's my advantage. money, me. I would if if I were Adam, I would be so annoyed at the fact that he just keeps but rubbing Adam, everything in his face. Adam looks like he takes a little advantage of Reza, and Reza spoils him like crazy. Like every episode, so that means they have gotten, to put up with it. No, I'm just saying that. Like, if you okay, I'm a big believer. If you give a gift. Mm-hmm. Right. If I give you a gift and you don't make as much money as me, I'm not gonna expect you to get me the same type of gift on that so level. If I give you a Cartier, like what? If Reza you gave, gave. If you give me Cartier, I will give you a card back. <laughs> <laughs> a McDonald's Happy Meal bracelet. No, it's like <laughs> no. But seriously, like you can't be upset with someone that's okay. Look, I have girlfriends who are married with dudes who have a lot of money and those dudes throw the money in their face but i also understand why they get upset with their girls because the girls are like oh you know i want a little purse you know can i get hermes so it's like, yeah so can i so. get this so it goes it, it's both ways you know he needs to be nicer about the money thing but adam needs to understand that like he doesn't he doesn't make that much money Right? So he can't be requesting Reza to like have his hand open all the time to give him money. I don't think I don't think he ex- I think Reza gives him I think Reza money. spoils him. Totally. Definitely, but I don't think he just He's expecting him to pay for that baby. Adam's expecting him because to pay for that a baby. Lot of money. Yeah, but it's his idea. It's his idea. So you Okay, so here goes the question. Do you think Reza wants children? Yes or no? No. I don't think so. I really don't think so. I don't so. think so either. I think that if Adam wasn't in the picture, he would never have a child. What do they say? Uh, <laughs> so Sarah says, um, oh, Vanessa put, when he called out his financial situation in front of everyone, that was so uncalled for. Um, Sarah says, yeah, Mike should have kept it cool for Reza's sake. Production people work 16 hours, but get paid nine to five. That's so true. I, yeah. Production. I mean, um, I, uh, yeah, I Vanessa said, set. but Adam said he's saving some money, not a bit, but still some. Yeah, but it's not, he's, he asked him, he's like, okay, at least half. He's like, no, I'm not even close to half. But how you, he, he knew that. He knew that. So the thing is, Reza should have said from the get, like, hey, guess what? I don't want to have a child. If you want one, you're going to have to fork up the money. That's what I think. I think that he's trying to appease 
Adam and that is why he's feeling all this pressure. He's always trying to appease him. He's trying to get the house. He's trying to do this and he's trying. He's he's thinking that he has to do all this stuff for Adam. Uh-huh. Right? Mm-hmm. So the whole thing for me is if you don't want to do something, you shouldn't do it. And you shouldn't get upset with Adam about it because you are you have been doing this for years and now all of a sudden you feel like up to here with right. it. Right. And just to be fair, they do have a lot on their plate because they have the, the 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 house situation. Yes. And now Reza getting into this whole business deal. 100%. I'm hoping and praying that this deal doesn't oh fall gosh. through because I've... that would be so... That stresses That's me out. That's money. a lot of money. It's like but... what? Four or five kids? But what did you say earlier? What? <laughs> what did you say earlier? But you know, remember. we've got our health and you okay. know... <laughs> We've got our health and don't make don't- fun of me. This is what I think <laughs> on a daily basis. No, okay? but I'm just saying. I'm just saying, girl. Uh, anyways, so um, yeah, so uh, I just oh, want- and also sorry. Why is it that we always catch them walking into doctors' offices? I feel like they've had this meeting like ten times in the past. Oh, I don't know. Don't you think? Uh, like every freaking episode, it's them I, going it to see us, a doctor. It gives us something to watch and talk about. That's why <laughs> we are watching reality TV. <laughs> <laughs> I tend to forget. Yes. Uh, so we're going to do a special segment, you guys. Um, I decided we're going to talk about what we saw. It doesn't have to be Persian food, but I want to talk about, like, their food. What did you see them um, have on a spread, on their spread, that you wanted? Um, I saw the fish. That fish looked really good. Oh. And some salad that they kept on eating. That was good. Filet mignon. Okay. okay. Right here. I know. You I I was like, yo. I could eat that. I can't have that rice, even though it looked really good, because it's not keto. But that filet mignon, girl, I was like, can I get a little bit? (laughs) (laughs) This is my Barry White voice. Anyways, do we have some news? I have some news. Okay, go ahead. (laughs) Okay, so Mike and okay. This is where I need our viewers to chime in and comment because I'm so confused of what's going on between Mike and Nima. So they slammed each other on Instagram. There's this feud going on between them. Um, supposedly Nima, who? Nima and um, Mike. What? So it all began Wednesday after Nima sent out a rather confusing post calling Mike out for apparently ignoring a FaceTime call by the cast. So if you go to Nima's IG, you'll see this picture. And then he captions it, when you try and FaceTime Mike and he, oh, and he won't answer. What's he hiding? New shots tomorrow. But the picture that the, that he posted was the FaceTime call that we saw today and Mike answered the phone. Yeah. So then Mike comment under that picture. And he said, hiding, be it, can I say bitch? Oh, too late. <laughs> hiding, Twice, no. <laughs> hiding, B-I-T-C-H, I'm one of the realest on the show. I gave my life to this project, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Nima replied saying, um, what did he say? He said, oh, gosh, just, you're getting so sloppy in your old age, bro. Focus less on me and more on Morgan. And Mike says, I should have let her beat your ass like she was dying to. Oh yeah, so no word exactly on what caused this feud, but I just don't know wow. why Morgan wanted to beat Nima up or kick wow. his ass. I don't know. Um, so uh, I think it was just like a promotion for people to oh. watch tonight's episode. Well, let's hope so. Yeah, and then also some news on Asa. Of course, she's not part of it this season, but um, there's been an update as to what she's been working on. She says that she's been focusing all of her time on her child. Oh, that baby's um, so cute. Yes, she said, I will make sure he has absolutely everything amazing and beautiful in his life. That's her purpose, and she's dedicated to it every day of her life, and she's never going to apologize for it. And she's also working, of course, on her business as her captain line. And she's launching her upcoming swimwear line. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see. That's awesome. Awesome. I've I've been to I'm her. I'm not that sleepy. <laughs> I've been to her shop. It's on, it's in Venice. Oh, uh, we got to go. And, girl. Yeah, my sister and I have been. We should go. And how much? Her, how much are those? Her captain. Though? No, she her swimsuit line is coming out. It oh, has to come okay. out here. That captain. There there seem like really cute oh. short captains. I probably wear that for my birthday. Okay, girl. Mm-hmm. Go girl. Yeah, but okay. that's it on my on my okay. end. Okay, so uh, MJ is told OK Magazine that Gigi is ready to date. So I guess her and Shalom are done because she says. Uh, 
MemJ says Gigi is so poised and ready to date anybody, adding she deserves it. Oh. So hopefully we see her, okay. you know, I mean, I know we saw the previews and it showed her flirting with some dude, supposedly making Nima jealous, but hopefully this is like a new love interest. Maybe you'll get what you wish for, which is no Nima. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you have any predictions? Really quick. Um, um, um. And now, Ooh, let me think about this. I predict, oh, I almost fell off my chair. What is going on here? <laughs> falling apart, girl. I'm falling apart, people. I predict that Gigi has this new love interest. <laughs> <laughs> and maybe she will make out with him and um, take him home. Oh, Ooh, okay. Girl. Just okay. going all the way. Just all the way. Yeah. I, my prediction <laughs> is that Morgan will hear that everybody was asking for her. And that she will get upset because she will probably think that everyone's getting into her business instead of, you know, focusing on yeah. something else. So I think she's going to get upset about that as opposed to appreciating the fact that people are asking about her. All right. That's my uh, can I just say one thing? This this is just like random, but can I just talk? say one really quick thing? And it's Vita was so funny about the half scene. Oh my god! So I'm just gonna say that Vita, you you bad, but so funny. Anyways, uh, I hope you guys follow us on iTunes, on YouTube. Subscribe, comment, like. Um, please show up in the live feed. Say something. We love hearing what you guys have to say. We love having the conversation with you. Yes. Um, go ahead and uh, introduce. Or tell them your social media. Oh, God, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, guys, we can continue the conversation. Follow me Twitter, Instagram, at this is my day. I'm also Monday nights at 8 o'clock, Real Housewives of OC. Thank you to Vanessa and Sarah for joining our live chat yes. tonight. Yeah. And I am Crystal McLaughlin. I hope you guys follow me on all of my social media. It's Crystal823, which means thinking of you in pager code. Yes, yes, yes. I just aged myself. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you guys so much for joining in to, on tonight's episode. We really appreciate you, and uh, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, see you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.